morning everybody. Dwayne Lazar, Triple Nickel Trapper. Saturday, February 23rd. And she's a cool one again with blowing snow, minus 26. I wonder if spring's gonna hit us all at once again and we'll see, I guess. She's uh, not as windy in the bush. I uh, had this first one knocked down. It's actually the second one. There's one behind me across, but no action on that one. We are gonna be uh, moving some rams today. Uh, when Todd was out two days ago, we uh, checked that Sawyer's bush. It goes for about a mile and a half, two miles thin strip. All kinds of deer kills in there from the dogs. So I'm gonna be picking up useless rams today and moving them out there and try and set that whole thing up. There looks like a pretty big pack of dogs there. So busy day, so let's get on her. Well, I see somebody else tried to go on my track here and missed horribly and almost hit the trees up there. Shaking off pieces of his sled, good for you. I don't know what the big thrill for people going on my track through the bush is. It pisses me off though. I hope they wreck their sled. Stay off my trail. We're at the cross here again. Nothing here, but we had a bunny come in here and close this off. And it's going on the sled. It'll be the third one I picked up already. And I know I can uh, easily lay three out at Sawyer's Cross, so. I may be picking more of them up on the way, we're not sure. Sure found a lot of sign there. There's no sense in wasting it at this time of the year. All right, I'm gonna pull this out of here and throw it on the sleigh with the other one, so. We'll keep moving forward. Well guys, we're at the train tracks again. I wanted to show you, I threw a bunch of bait on here. The Sawyer's Cross, I uh, chances are they probably took another deer down there already, but if not, we got lots of bait. I got a set of hog guts and liver and heart and everything underneath that hide. That's the deer I shot for uh, hunting season. There's a bag of pork parts there too. But we'll walk in and check these traps because I can see that track I saw the other day was a fox. Nice looking little red. Very nice. Got a little bit of a frozen going on. Very nice. We'll go check them and uh, I'll make them up after. I got a snare around my neck for that one. Gee, there's a surprise. Nothing in the weasel box. I do have a wolf snare for that now. And I'm thinking I'm going to move it. Bad enough hopping over one of them out of set, let alone having to hop over two of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that bugger's going around my snare here. He knows it's here. He probably was here with one that got caught. We will uh, make a little surprise for him here. I'll just turn that snare and put it under that stick where he's coming through. His tracks are all but filled in from the blowing snow, but I know he's here. I'd like to cut a trail through there this summer coming up. My place is pretty well straight ahead down that trail about oh, all the three miles. All right, guys, I'm gonna change some stuff around, pop that box out, see you shortly. Oh, we're definitely having a warm up today. She's cold out there, lots of blowing snow. I uh, was coming across that uh, just past the cross there and there's two moose out in the open I was boogieing down the road about 60 miles an hour no chance of getting my camera out to film them but they were 
spooked so bad that uh, the front one fell down and the second one went barreling right over top and both of them crashed into the uh, the snow. It was pretty funny, but uh, man, I wish I would have got that on film. Okay, a couple of quick smokes. And we're hitting the north line. All we got is a fox so far today, but I'm watching make sure Abby doesn't steal anything out of there, so... Alrighty guys, I uh, hope we'll see you very soon. Now, I'm not seeing anything in this screen, but I should be on two moose right there. getting any closer they're buggering off we're in this culvert again we had mink in here last night wandering around not sure if they went in the box or not if they did they missed the conibears let me get this skunk fire away I want to show you some more stuff behind me here So yeah, I'll give this box a little turn. Those are in. Looks good. All right. Huh, would have been nice to pick up a mink here, but we had little foxes going through here. There's mink tracks down there. weasel and whatnot around here so this box should hit again I got about three more checks on it before I got to pull it so boy it's cold out Whew. it looks like it's gonna be like this for a week now so better get used to it okay guys we've got a bunch of uh, Rams to check and home. I got uh, lots of bait on the sled as you can see. We're gonna dump that in that Sawyer's Cross. And I got uh, three extra rams there. So I don't shake them off, I always do this to them. They ain't coming out of there and if they do, you'll sure notice. All right guys, we're going that way. Well, we're at Sawyer's Cross here. I kicked a whole bunch of bait out. We actually caught the one over there that uh, ducked that uh, snare the first night. Nothing in the back too, but I see there's two really strong trails coming in here where they're trying to sneak around. So I'm gonna set those. I'm gonna abandon where I caught him because he got all screwed up and tangled up and man it's getting colder by the minute out here so yeah those three rams back there are nothing this one nothing I see they snuck through here so I'm gonna stick another one in here and block this off and then I'll put the two back here. I might just put one on the stronger trail because there's another trail farther down that's just pounded with Cayute tracks. It's like uh, the deer won't go there. It's uh, too many dog tracks on it. They just staying out of there. Because like I said, this whole stretch is littered with dead deer that they've been killing in here. So hopefully we can get some more. He's a nice looking little dog. Very light colored. I am uh, tossing him in with the fox and I got those three wolf masters there. We'll uh, giddy up go. I'm going to start right now. My fingers freeze so quick with this camera so sorry about that. Maybe I'll uh, show you some of my remakes or whatnot, but 
All right, I'll see you guys in a bit, maybe. another ram on here I gotta unload and I'm not sure where I'm putting it so I will be looking on the way back to the house for a good spot for it it's a wolf master so I don't like taking rams home there's better chance of catching something set out here even in a shitty spot than they got uh, sitting in the back of the truck waiting until two days from now yeah she's uh, pretty blowing out here man Oh well, we'll keep hunting for a spot and moving towards the house, so see you there. All right, we're back home, hung those two up. I'm probably gonna take this one in and this one, cause that one looks like it bled all over itself too. So, I'll probably have to wash those two other coyotes together and then flush them. Got pretty ugly out there in a hurry, man. Oh, well, I'm glad I'm home and I get a nice coffee in me and get these dogs hanging downstairs. That uh, one I hung up there two days ago is still hard like a brick. So yeah, I'll take this one. This was the one... Uh, from the 19th and this is from the 21st so same as that one from the 21st with Todd and uh, so much for only having one dog hanging again oh well we'll uh, keep working on it and uh, you guys keep moving forward too